human trafficking, a brutal crime, and a serious human rights violation is happening right here in the state of Michigan. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. We're here on location at the State Capitol Building. Joining me now is Susie Avery, the Executive Director of the Michigan Women's Commission. Thank you so much for joining us Well, today. thank you so much for having me. This is a very, very important issue. Um, and a lot of people don't even realize that human trafficking goes on in Michigan. I would never in a million years think that that would be an issue uh, that would make the radar screen here in our state. Is it something new? Is it internet uh, based? Is that why we're talking about this now? Or, or how big of an issue is it? Well, it is a very big issue and the internet has definitely spawned a lot of human trafficking. It also, Michigan's um, location uh, at, to an international border uh, because a lot of traffickers it for prostitution and for um, what they call agriculture um, can be brought across right, right, right from Canada. But I think the biggest thing to realize that this is a form of slavery. This is our form of slavery that's going on right now. And it's incredible when you start seeing how young uh, these traffickers are bringing in these children to be sexually trafficked. So obviously a law enforcement issue. The uh, the police and the law enforcement in our state are hopefully all over this, tracking the uh, the traffickers. But how has it now become a legislative issue? Well, it has because um, uh, Attorney General Bill Schuette has set up, um, under his guidance, they've set up a special human trafficking, actually, division that are located down in Detroit. And they, they are right now monitoring chat rooms. And they actually can trace these, track, uh, these um, um, chat rooms back three and four computers, so the server are all over the place so they're that's deliberate to try to talk to these young women and um, even small children who are boys um, they have a, a gentleman whose street name was gruesome that they just um, had a big court case with down in Detroit and his youngest victim was an 11 year old boy who he was trafficking for sex so it's it's the legislature has noticed this and because they have they've taken a great deal of interest in it and now they're holding public hearings to um, they have the Polaris project coming in from Washington DC Polaris is a huge Washington DC they have like 30 people that track human trafficking all over the world and they're bringing them in actually to um, tell us about what is the best method to actually go into this and make sure that our children are protected. Sounds like we're sort of at, at phase one, if you would, with, with sort of a public awareness campaign, trying to let people know that this is an issue. And then number two, maybe change the way we treat uh, the victims, really, who up until now have been treated as prostitutes and perhaps criminals themselves. Well, that's right. And what we have to do is this awareness campaign, the Michigan Women's Commission is has three strong issues that they're looking at and this is actually the one that we're doing and we, some of our commissioners have even taken um, some training and they have gone out to service clubs and everything to bring them up to date on what's going on with, with human trafficking. There was a, a great book written by a gal who had been trafficked and she had actually been trafficked from Birmingham, Michigan. So it's not just happening in urban areas or um, it's happening in rural areas, it's happening all over the states, at Mackinac, I mean even up north and in the UP. So um, this, is a, this is something that's existing all over. It was kind of like hidden exploitation. But now that um, the computers have really ramped up in terms of these chat rooms that a lot of these young women go to, um, I think it's become very, very dangerous. And no matter how you think of it, it is exploitation. All right, and just one more reason to talk to your kids about uh, internet safety. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having me. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Susie Avery, the Executive Director of the Michigan Women's Commission.